tonight. We're all set for our next fight of the night. Andrew Kane and Darwin Martinez at Bantamweight. Before we rejoin Darren and Richie in commentary, let's go back to death. Ladies and gentlemen, the action continues here live on TNT Sports. Our next contest of the evening is eight rounds in the Bantamweight division. Your steward in charge is Des Reese. Your timekeeper is Stephen Bucci and your referee, Kieran McCann from Harrow. Introducing first in the red corner, competing in his 30th professional contest. At the weigh-in, he scaled eight stone, eight pounds, and tonight he wears the blue and white shorts. Please welcome from Managua, Nicaragua, Darwin Martinez. And across the ring in the blue corner. He has a record of 10 wins, only one defeat, with nine big wins coming by way of knockout. At the weigh in, he scaled eight stones, seven pounds, and tonight he wears the black and white shoes. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the hard hitting former WBC international silver champion, presenting from Liverpool. Andrew Kane! Listen up. You both know the rules, you will obey my commands at all times. When I tell you to break, break clean, take a step back, throw no punches, mind your heads in close. Most importantly, gentlemen, protect yourself at all times. Shake hands. So the comeback starts for the talented Andrew Kane from Liverpool. 11 months after losing a split decision to the hardest nails, John Ukbaluta in Telford. He's back tonight, back at bantamweight, and eager to get back on course. He's had hand surgery since then, which has slowed everything down, but he's going to be chomping at the bit, Richie, to get back into action here. He want to look good tonight, no question. In against a fairly awkward customer as well. He's a skillful lad, Andrew Kane, good power. Had the hand surgery as well. Let's see how he goes with this one. And he'll want to look good. But the looter loss was the first for Kane. In fact, the plenty thought he'd won. He had him down twice in the first and again in the ninth. And when you factor in the severity of the hand injury sustained that night, it's astonishing that he was as close as he was to pulling it off. And I know that a lot of people think this young man can go a long, long way. Well, he's certainly got a lot of skills, um, Andrew Kane. I think, you know, the Everton Red Triangle gym for Liverpool. It's a good gym, isn't it, with Nick Ball in there, Bradley Strand, Peter McGrail. They've got very good in-house in sparring. And already Kane looking for the big shots here. The surgeon was to the right hand. He's a switch hitter, Andrew Kane, who'll flip-flop between Orthodox and Southport. The black and white trunks for the man from Liverpool and the blue and white for Darwin Martinez, 26-year-old from Managua, Nicaragua. Eight wins in 29 fights. He's a man who's lost 19 times. So this is designed tonight to get Andrew Kane a win, get him a bit of confidence and get him back on the comeback train. Yeah, and Kane already showing signs of thinking about this one, the way he's going forward, just edging forward, trying to draw the lead. There you go, trying to draw the opponent's punch like he did there, then come back with the counter. So he's counter-punching on his front foot, going forward, keeps his head there, draws the shot and then responds. Clever. He's got ten wins and nine of them by stoppage. He's got power, we know that. Show the velocity flag, but he's got bags and bags of guts and durability as well. Yeah, his biggest regret in that point is probably that he didn't finish the job off. I mean, he had Baluta down twice in that first round, but as we've said, Baluta hard as nails, comes back and drops Kane late on in the fight as well. It's a close one, but it just went Baluta's way. That would be his regret there. So let's see if he's learned from that. So to get an opponent in trouble, they to try and finish him off. Kane, he has got some lovely skills. As he from Martinez, Nothing really to trouble Andrew Kane, 30 seconds to go in the first, this one's scheduled for eight at Bantamweight. It's been a 
patient opening round here from Andrew Kane. Nice sharp shots though at the end of the round, just as we started to let his hands go, and they got there quick as a flash, and there's the bell to end the first. Twos after the right, the left, you know what I mean? So I'll click the field twice. Welcome back to your call. Paul Stevenson from the Everton Red Triangle Gym talking to uh, Andrew Kane. And there's Nick Ball, who we'll see fighting on the Queensbury versus Matchroom Bill on June the 1st. He's up against Raymond Ford. It's a very, very close Nick Gym, isn't it? And a lot of success coming out of it at the moment as well. It's a confident group. Yeah, it is a confident group indeed. And uh, Paul Stevenson, obviously, the coach says, some talented boxers there. Not too bad there for Martinez. That's the problem sometimes with Kane because he has a very relaxed guard. Occasionally, you know, he's in punching range and his hands are low and he gets the odd clip here and there. It's certainly what happened against Baluta. So he's just got to watch that, Andrew Kane. And he's in punching range, hands got to be a little bit higher and moving away from the opponent can be a problem also with that relaxed guard. I think you would say about Martinez as well. He won't just come in here and roll over. Doesn't win many, but he doesn't get stopped very often either. He was stopped by Chris Ford in February of last year, but he's been out a fair few times since then. He has got the ability to stick in fights, so if Kane can get the stoppage tonight, that would be a, a really good comeback for him after the length of time that he's been out. Yeah, you've got to remember Kane's been out for a long time, hasn't he? So I think he's just feeling his way into this contest, and he's quite enjoying it. OK, he's getting clipped here, um, the odd shot here and there, but I think he's fairly in control here. Kane, and it's just a case of him when he wants to really step it up. But uh, like I say, what makes him exciting is the way he comes forward, keeps he puts his head, head in front of his opponent, wants the opponent to throw a shot. He's trying to draw the lead, and then he comes back to those fast counters. It's, it's good stuff, it, and um, I like the way he boxes. Look at that lovely, lovely, lovely counter. Really sharp with him when he does that. We saw it a couple of times at the end of the first round, and there it is again. The second, it's a historic venue that we're in tonight. They've been boxing here since the 1950s. There used to be three Turkish bats in the basement, Richie, which you might well have enjoyed. <laughs> well, the good fighters have been here, some of the very best have fought here. Five world heavyweight champions have fought here, including Lennox Lewis, Chris Shubank and Joe Kalsaki and Nigel Ben, even the colourful Johnny Tapia has had a, a spell in the ring that Andrew Kane and Darwin Martinez are in right now. It really is one of the homes of boxing, it's always a privilege to be here. And just keeping that right hand nice and high, Martinez wasn't too far away with that left hook. So there was an example of Kane in punching range there, and Martinez just coming back with his own shot, so... Interesting at this point here. He's only been stopped three times, hasn't he, in those 19 defeats. Superb punch, okay, it really was. Really back there, which brought Martinez over that side and brought him onto the punch. Call. Let's have a look at some of the work from Andrew Kane in the second race. Yeah, that was a cracking shot. Best punch of the, of the contest so far. You see, he brought him over his front foot, makes him fall in, and then just cuts him there with a long uh, left hook. A good shot there from Kane. What would your assessment be of what you've seen of him over the, the opening couple of rounds? Well, you know, he's been off for a long time, so he's just get, he's, he's, you know, he's, he's got to get a bit of it. To get rid of a bit of ring rust, so he's, his timing is off occasionally here. So and I think Paul Stevenson knows that, that's why he wants to work a little bit more with his jab, he says. But he likes to work with the feet, he's in and out with the feet, so it's coming together. But you can see he's been away from the ring, without the ring for a while. That's a nice left hook that landed on the, the chin of Martinez. This is elusive as the Nicaraguan. Came forward. Does that kind of fight against Baluta and what happened with the hand injury and everything, does that leave any kind of psychological scar that he's got to overcome as well? 
Well, you would hope not. Um, obviously, he's been out of the, the ring for a year plus now and had surgery. So you, you would hope that the demons are put to bed, to be quite honest with you. It's a fight that he should have won. I thought he'd just done enough to win it, but there you go. But looking at this performance here, then yes, this is positive stuff from Kane. A really nice shot right hand there from Kane after Martinez had landed a couple himself. So that's better there with the jab. You see, just measuring the distance with the, with that jab. Still not, he's not lunging forward too much. There's that left off a right hand. Good shot again. A really good work from Andrew Kane. When he does that, he looks levels above. We can start to put that kind of work together with a bit more regularity. You think if he can, he'll get Martinez out of there. That's what I like about him also. He's just forward on the front foot, and then he'll just push back. So he, occasionally, he'll fake that front foot, pushes back creates that space and gap where the opponent falls into it, and then you bring him onto the punch. Oh, that was a crack. So he's starting to get, he's starting to get into a rhythm now, Fletcher, and he's Andrew Kane. He's starting to find his way to distance, isn't he? Andrew Kane landing some really sharp, crisp punches. Yeah. From Martinez. That was a sweet shot from the Nicaraguan. That's a shot. Similar to the Baluta situation, wasn't he? Got caught with a couple of shots like that. Yeah. Moving away, or in range, and his hands a little bit too low. That was a good punch from him. That's right hand from Kane. 40 seconds to go in the third. Plenty of ambition being shown in there, though, from Martinez. Well, what they would have said to him is, look, in the Baluta fight, look, you've got to get through um, the first few rounds, he's going to be strong, he's going to be dangerous. But then he's probably vulnerable, that's what they'll be saying to Martinez. And again, you know, he's, he's had a bit of success in this round. Right hand over the top, was a good punch. Side of Kira McCann, the only stretch of the imagination. Good shot, right hand, right at the end of the round there from Kane. Took it well though, Martinez. There's the bell. Let's have a listen to what Paul Stevenson has to say after we've seen some of the work in the round from the Liverpool. Yeah, just missed with the left hook at the start of that sequence, didn't he? But then comes back. Just misses there, but then he comes back with the right hand. And that's a good shot. Again, a fairly dominant round from Kane, but there were signs in there that Martinez, you know, he's, he can land the odd shot here and there because of Kane's relaxed guard. That's a belting shot there from Kane. But this Martinez fella, you can see how, why he's only been stopped three times. He's tough. Watch out for the left hoops and on it. So the fourth round is scheduled for eight. One thing he has said in the build-up that he's targeting Ashley Lay, the, the British bantamweight champion. We saw him impressively with the title against Chris Bork a few weeks ago. Andrew Kane said he's, he's happier at this weight. He only fought at Super Bantam because of the opportunities that were available. So he feels this is the better weight for him, Richie. Yeah, this is probably the weight he should be campaigning at. And he's been up at Super Bantam. Obviously, you know, he's not the biggest of Bantam weights, so at Super Bantam, they're, they're much bigger guys. So this is probably his division. It's interesting to listen to Paul Stevenson in that corner. And he said, watch out for his left hook, and he's got a mark just on his right eye, and that's because that left hook has landed a couple of times from Martinez. So when he's moving away from Martinez, he's got to keep that right hand a little bit higher because that's when he's vulnerable. A little bit. There's a bit of swelling on the right cheek of Martinez as well, which is just worth keeping an eye on, just below the eye, just to the side of it, which he keeps mentioning how long he's been out. 316 days is how long it is since we saw that fight against Yono Baluta. Oh, really good shot, right hand, clinical, powerful, and Martinez isn't going to get up from that. What a punch that was. 
What a finish. What a shot that was. Just dipped his left shoulder and then whips that right hand over the top. And that was the shot that Paul Stevenson asked for, didn't he, in that corner. So what a punch that was. It was, turn, it was actually turning out to be a decent workout for him, but there he's found an absolute cracker. Peach of a punch. Absolute beauty. He was very patient tonight, Andrew Kane, waiting for the opportunity. We said that he got power. Ten stoppages now out of 11 wins in the professional ranks, and after a long time out, he comes back and produces a finish like that. Perfect punch, and the moment it landed, the fight was over. Yeah, it was a tremendous shot, wasn't it? And uh, he's produced some real good, good work here tonight, in and out with defeat, some good counter-punching on his front foot. The old Andrew Kane that we knew but uh, got clipped here and there, so like I said, it was turning out to be a fair workout for him, but there he's just found a quality shot. Yeah, worth making the point, Richie, the first man to stop Martinez since Chris Bork in February of last year, and since then, the Nicaraguan's gone the distance in ten straight fights prior tonight. We talked about his durability, but when you get hit like that with that kind of power in that spot, there's nothing you can do about it. No, not at all, and yes, he was decent, Martinez, wasn't he? He was tough, Nicar tough Nicaraguan boxer. Uh, a good record, decent record, and doesn't get stopped very often at all. So that was a, a belt. That would have probably uh, stopped uh, any bantamweight out there. That was a really, really good punch. He did well to get up from it, to be quite honest, because where we were from, it looked like he was finished. And he'll feel really good about it when you've been out for that long and you've had a bit of surgery. Your last fight was a defeat. You might think you've won it. You just want that one under your belt to get you going again. Exactly, yes. Um, and. It wasn't all one way, was it? He got caught with the odd shot here and there. I think there was a bit of ring rust. He was having to find his way and get his, into the contest. Let's hope this fella's OK, which I'm sure he is, Martinez. Tough, tough guy. Let's have a look at it here. Go, going forward, dips the shoulder there, dips it again, and then brings the right hand over the top. So he's actually showing Martinez. See, you see the little dip there? That's like a little feint. And then he's, he's just come with a little short jab and then whipped that right hand over the top. There it is there. Whoa, cracking shot. Fainted with that left hand to the to, to the chest and then whipped the right hand over. Belter. You, you can't throw that punch any better, can no, you? No, not at all. Tracking shot. And that was the shot that this fella here, Paul Stevenson, asked for in between rounds, the right hand over the top. It's uh, good to see that Martinez is sitting up. The medical staff have had a good look at him. They're taking the gloves off now, and Andrew K waits. There's Frank Warren ringside with us tonight, with Nick Paul alongside him. Some big nights coming up, I and mean, we're going to be uh, privileged to be part of them. Queen Street versus Matchroom. Bill, with the better be ever against Vivon, and of course, May the 18th in Saudi Arabia. Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk is going to be outstanding. OK, let's get the official result. Kieran McCann with both fighters. Here's Dev Sani. Ladies and gentlemen, at the time of 1 minute 27 seconds in the fourth round, your referee, Kieran McCann, calls a halt to this contest. Therefore, your winner by knockout, Andrew Kane! So Andrew Kane is back on track and he's back with a bang. Secures his 11th win and his first since he stopped Luis Moreno in the first round here in May of 2022. He's a man on a mission, he's got a lot of talent, and he's keen to make up for lost time. Patience, was that the key word tonight that was needed for Andrew Kane? Because he's been out of the ring, I think it's, if we're being specific, 316 days, if you will, Carl. Okay. Yeah, look, yeah, I think so, but I mean, he, he wanted to get that stoppage win as well and that's why we like Andrew Kane uh, kind of people were talking it was a bit maybe people maybe have thought it was a little bit underwhelming the first two rounds anyway third round yeah thanks Becky thanks Becky um Andrew we on the broadcast was wondering whether or not we'd get a smile from you tonight because that was a convincing performance in there and I could hear the conversation in terms of in the corner but how do you reflect in terms of getting the concussive victory yeah it was okay I felt I, uh, I had to shake out a bit of ring rushed off early felt a bit flat a bit uh, I'm not used to being in there almost, been a long time, um, but I enjoyed it. I felt nice to get it with the uh, little gloves on again, to be honest. Not that we like getting it much, but it, it was nice, you know what I mean? I see half a smile there. That lets me know that you're back in fight mode. In terms of the, the journey back, it's not easy coming back from surgery. It's not easy coming back full stop. But mentally, do you feel 
elated just to be under the bright lights again. Yeah, it was, it was, it was brilliant. It's been a long time. Uh, it feels like, feels like an eternity. I've been waiting. It's only been a year, but yeah, it's brilliant to be back, mate. But uh, as the song's playing in the background, yeah, it ain't seen nothing yet, mate. Talking about the future, then. I mean, 2024 is your year. That's what we're going to turn around and start classifying it. What do you want? Change the division, change the scene for you. Obviously, the the corner hasn't changed, and probably the direction hasn't changed. But this is where I don't put words in your mouth. You tell me in terms of what you want for this year. Yeah, I'm coming. All, I'm coming to take over the bantamweights. That's what I'm coming to do. Yeah, I want the, the British title next. That fella there, uh, Ashley Lane, won it. You know, he's got a good story, and I respect the man. But uh, the story ends the night I get in there with him. <laughs> tell you now, Becky, I can smile. I can see it now. Lane versus Kane. I sat on the same apron probably about a month ago and listened to someone's story. I listened to someone else's story tonight, and it seems like we're de destined to do it again underneath these bright lights, right? 